Hello guys, um, let's take a look at the loft tool. So the loft tool can be used to create both 3D surfaces and shapes. So it can be used to create a cross, open cross section which creates a surface and a closed cross section which creates a solid shape and we'll go over that uh, further. Let's start by making a circle we can use to create our loft from. So the command is CI for circle and let's just drag one out and we'll change our view to conceptual just to sort of help help visualize a bit more and if we click if we hold down shift and press in the scroll wheel that'll activate the 3d orbit giving us a, a better view here okay so we have our circle and next step what we want to do is to start copying that shape and we want in this case we want to copy it up the z-axis so snapping to the center of the circle with our copy tool let's create two more copies above okay now if we go over to our loft tool let's select that and we can now work our way down creating that mesh, uh, effectively lofting the surfaces. Now this looks a bit basic like a, a just a cylinder. Um, so let's start that again and now if we go back let's see what happens when we start to change these shapes before we create the loft. So if we just sort of you know, drag one out, make one smaller, you can move it to the side, just sort of play around with that. And we go back to the loft command and work our way down and we now see that the, the mesh is trying to sort of form a skin over those shapes. Um, so you can kind of think of them, the shapes as a frame um, and, and the, the loft tool is sort of in this sense creating a skin over the top of them. And by selecting the object we can then modify the loft as a 3D shape. If we select the node of the circle and drag it back and forth you can see it affects the shape. Uh, and then again, let's go back and make sure we have the center snap point set if you're having any issues with that. Um, this is starting to look like a sort of a retro table, so let's create a, a tabletop from the center of our object here, just with the circle. Let's drag one out. And we'll use the extrude tool, so EXT for extrude, it's a shortcut selecting that circle and specify a thickness. Um, this isn't drawn to scale so use any thickness you like there. And so there you have it. So that's where you can use the loft tool uh, cross-sectionally uh, to sort of create some, some different shapes. And here we're viewing it in wireframe it becomes quite clear to see that section that's being lofted around the shape and how we can begin to alter that. So now let's create a, an example of a surface loft. Let's start by creating a spline with the shortcut SPL. Let's just make it sort of any shape we like
So we now want to give the loft uh, a surface to create along. So let's copy this shape along a few times. Okay, now we want to give each shape a, an increment or an elevation. So let's select those shapes and using the Z axis again, let's bring them up uh, a certain distance. Sort of creating a layered effect. Uh, if this was, say, a to topography or a survey, we could go along and trace out the survey and do it this way to create a 3D shape or a surface. We can sort of start to alter the shapes, the splines, to give it a bit more natural sort of variation. Okay, so with that done, let's go back over to our loft tool and work our way down and you'll see that surface begin to mesh over our shapes. <coughs> so we've now created a, a surface using the loft tool. And again, if we view that in wireframe and we click continue here, we can continue to modify that mesh using the nodes of our spline. So obviously again this would be a really handy tool to use if you were to create a surface for a building or some landscaping for a 3D model. Just sort of playing around with the different visual styles to help uh, gauge some of that form. Uh, and say this were a, a, for a landscape or a 3D model and if we wanted to go in there and add some thickness we'll select the thickness uh, command and just specify a, a, a thickness in the command prompt and select our object and here you can see we've, we've added some sort of depth to our mesh surface Uh, that uh, concludes this tutorial for the loft command. Thank you for watching.